very interested to know, right, that this ring over here is extremely large. You see if I put my finger in, there's a lot of space. Hi, I'm Javon, and I'm known as the Cathedral's Treasure Hunter. So this got me very interested in the heritage of the church. And I thought that I could help the church in consolidating and just uh, finding out the stories behind all these artifacts. As I started to serve, I also get to appreciate the historical architecture and also the treasures of the cathedral that were left uh, lying around. By nature, I'm quite a busy body. Sometimes I would open the cupboards. <laughs> it's like, what's inside? Of course, with the permission of the priest, you know. So, you know, one thing leads to another. This was actually inside a box, which contained a lot of things like, you know, rosary beads, little cards, you know, prayer cards and keys. Before the restoration, the floorboards would give way any time. So at certain parts of the, the floor, there were actually holes. So you have to be really, really careful. It's like tiptoe, tiptoe. I went to this one cupboard and opened it and there was this, but it was totally black. You find something very interesting, you will not stop. Because you, you're like, oh, then, then there's something interesting in this cupboard. What about the other cupboard, you know? Yeah, the Union Times, right? 1934. So I was like, hey, you know it survived the war. Please make sure that it can survive you. <laughs> so please don't throw it away. Sasparilla <laughs> is actually sassy, you know. And I heard that in the old days, if you're sick, right, you drink sassy, then you can uh, be, be, be well again. But actually from all these little things, we can learn a lot of history. In the old days, what were they watching? The movies that they were watching, the things that they were buying. Yeah, so through all these things, we learn. These were actually unearthed from the cathedral's compound. You know, when the workers are actually doing the excavation, they actually chance upon all these artifacts. So I think in the original form, it would have had two handles actually. Two handles which had already broken off. Who was drinking beer in the church? <laughs> So we're very happy that we still have got really historical artifacts that are truly, truly historic. You know, it's not just a random cross or random candlesticks, but at least there's a story behind it. And that, I think that's very, very important. You know, holding on to these items, flipping through the pages of the book, you get to relieve the moment. You know, imagine those people, the priest, the priest who held up that, that chalice. You really fully kind of like feel connected to them through these objects. I hope that through these artifacts, we could not only educate uh, 
the Catholics of today, but also try to bring them back to the faith.